Good morning, everyone. Good morning. And welcome to the Vine Direction Christian Center up under the great leadership of Bishop Charles Anderson. Yes. We're so happy to see everyone out today with your smiling face and just looking so lovely. Amen. Yes. That's out there, we are happy that you're tuning in. God is doing great things in this season. Yes. Amen. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, He is. Yes, yes he, is. he is. God is good all the time. And all the time, He's good. God is good. Amen. 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 Oh, 
Oh yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.
Y'all ain't getting it. Y'all ain't getting it. Yeah. Everything that it looked like Satan has taken yeah, away yeah, from yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Come on. God has said we are in the season where he's restored family, peace, joy, happiness, finances. I'm so excited. And if you can only see what he was showing me, you will be excited too. Amen. Come on, come on. Some of y'all have been in a dry season. Come on. And God has placed you there for a reason. He was reminding you that it's not your will, but it's his will. That's right. And then he said, since I'm pouring out to my children, see, you got to know who your father is. You got to know who you belong to. You got to know who you're standing for. You could stand for Satan. Or you can stand for righteousness, which is Father Christ. Yes. But whichever one you choose, stand for something. It's not no in between. Either you're going to do right, or you're going to do wrong. Or you're going to live for Christ, you're going to live for Satan. You're going to go to heaven, or you're going to go to hell. You're going to be black, or it's going to be white. It's just. It's just that simple. That's right. That's right. No in between. No in between. No middle ground. And I was reminding them like, God. 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 You got it. God got it. You got it all in your hand. Yes. Even in this faith walk. See, that's what it's all about, y'all. It's not what you see. Yes. It's not what you have. All right. But in this faith walk, right. God has all things. All things. Not some things. But all things. all things. Can you say all things? All things. Belong to God. Belong to God. All things. All things. Belong to God. Belong to God. The good, the good, the bad, the bad, and the ugly. And the ugly. <laughs> all things. Not some things, but all things belong to God. Amen. It wasn't your will that got that house. Come on, it wasn't your will that got that car. Hey. It wasn't your will that opened that door to that new home. Hey. It wasn't nothing that you did that was so powerful. Amen. But it was my father oh. that opened up the door. Yes. Some of y'all didn't even have the credit, Come on. but you walked into oh. your blessing. Oh.
I'm not yes. worried about who's not here today. Come on, right. Because I see angels. Yes, yes. I'm just praying that they have a safe return. Yes, yes. That's what I'm praying for. Yes. That my fellows have a safe return. Hallelujah. So they can come back home okay. yes. and continue the work. Yes, Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I'm excited for what God's doing in this season. I've been like in a wavering land for a few months because God's been shifting me and taking me other places. And it felt so unfamiliar to me, but how many of you know that when God is elevating you, that it don't feel familiar? When God is elevating you and pushing you and taking you to a higher level, you don't understand. But all you have to do is believe on him, follow the instruction, and everything will work its way out. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you. I'm here today to tell you that God is welcome into this vessel. God is welcome into this sanctuary. God is welcome into my heart. God is welcome into my talk. God is welcome into my family. God is welcome into the sanctuary.
and we thank him. Oh my God. Everybody got a right to say, Lord, I thank you. I thank you. For whatever the situation is, I thank you. Amen. We're going to worship him on in today. Thank you, Lord Jesus.
praising the Lord. That's right. Uh, you keep praising. I dare you keep praising because you the more you praise him, the better you're gonna feel, and the longer you praise him, something begins to happen in your head, something begins to happen in your little spirit, and before you know it, your hand going up. You're thanking the Lord. You're giving God praise. You said, Thank you, Jesus. You thank you, Lord. Nobody but you, Lord. If it had not been for the Lord who was on my side, where would I be? Huh? Huh? Where, where, would where, would where would I be? Huh? Huh? And, and let, let me let me bring you to this right here. Look at verse 16. It said, It came to pass that the seventh time when the priests blew with the trumpets, Joshua said unto the people, Shout, for the Lord has given you the city. All right. You can shout when you see the wall that come down in your life. You can shout when that thing that you was wrestling with, you don't wrestle with it no more. You can step over and say, hey, that's behind me now. See, you can shout then. It's hard to shout when you tangled up, tied up, and wrapped up, and you ain't tangled up, tied up in the right thing. You tangled up, wrapped up, tangled up, tied up in the world and the society and what's going on around you, what's going on at home, what's going on at the schools, what's going on everywhere. But when you give that shout, that shout out that God said you can give, victory. See, you got the victory. The enemy just don't want us to know that. Amen. Jesus already went to the cross. That's right. He died. Huh? And he had, he took, that's why there's no excuses. Every excuse that a human could possibly think of went to the cross. Amen. Amen. Was nailed to the cross. Yes, God did. I don't believe I do want to do that. Okay, well, ain't no excuse. That's right. All right. Huh? There's no excuse. That's why in the, in, the, in the last day, in the day of getting up, the resurrection when, day. when everybody's going to be caught up that's right to be jealous that's right there is no excuse to say i never heard that <laughs> nobody never said that to me yeah all right <laughs> see cuz everybody's going down that's right huh? that's right and some going to be left here to go through that tribulation period Amen. And that's going to be caught up inside of that tribulation Amen. period. Amen. I don't want to be in that period. That's right. I want him to give me my wings and let me get on out of here. Yeah. Come on, come on. Hallelujah. Because in that day, it's going to be tough. Yes. But everybody's going to go up. Yes, Lord. But the sad part about it is everybody can't stay up. That's right. We can go up because the Bible declares that we have to be caught up. To be Jews. Yes. That's right. In the air. Yes. Come on. Yes, that's the word. We, we, we got to get that. So that's why you give him praise. That's why you give him shout. When every time there's a victory in your life, give God praise. Amen. Amen. Every time that you have overcome something yes. that you struggle with, yes. give God praise. Amen. Huh? Every. Thank you, Lord. Every time. Every single time. Thank you, Jesus. And let me, I just want to look at verse 17. Mm -hmm. It said, and the city shall be accursed. Now, not only did the city come down, mm -hmm. the city got cursed. Wow. Mm -hmm. Woo. Wow. Yeah. See what happened when you met with God, folks? No wrong with that. Touch not my anointing. That's right. Do my prophet, Do my prophet no wrong. harm. Yeah. <laughs> be careful how you put your mouth on, folks. Come on now, you got to be very careful because not, not only did the walls of the city come down, my, my, my. but it got cursed. That's right. Yes. Even it and all that are therein. Woo. The walls come down, the city got cursed. Every time we can. People got cursed. <laughs> therein to the Lord. Only. Only. <laughs> one person. One. Rahab. That's it. The harlot. Yeah. <laughs> the one in the back. Right. The harlot. Yeah. The, the woman of the night. All right. <laughs> the street walk. All right. The one that said, come on, hey. Night home. <laughs> come on over here. <laughs> Where you going, soldier? You look good, soldier, in your armor. Yeah. Come on over here. That's it. Got something for you, soldier. Come on. The harlot. What happened? Huh? Yeah. So you might be wondering, why would he say the harlot? 
she lived. Yeah, right, we made a show. See, she and all that are with her in her house right. because she hid mm -hmm. the messengers that were sent by Joshua. Come on. The two spies that Joshua sent into to Jericho to look Jericho out to see what was going on. When it came down, they got they they was caught up. So what happened was they had to have a place to hide. Amen. Who here? She lost the two. Come on, fish. Hallelujah. Yeah. The bad woman. Yeah. Yeah. The one that you would look down on. The one that you would turn your nose up at. The one that you would say is lesser. Come on. Huh? But look how God, look how God preserved her. Yeah. That's right. Not only her, but her whole household. Oh, right. Whole family. All, all of her family, even her father. Whole family. Got preserved. Yeah. Uh -huh. Because when the spies came in to check out what Joshua had sent, they was on an assignment. Right. Rahab finds out about it. They need a place to hide, water to eat. Come on now. Amen. So what are you saying, Pastor? What I'm saying is, you can't despise who's who. You can't judge who's who. You never know who God has in store for you. Now, they never would have thought that a, a, a woman of the night would be able to hide two spies. But it was easy for her to do that. You know why? You know why it was easy for her to do that? It was easy for her to do that because she was what? A woman of the night. Was they going to pay attention to me and going in and out? No, no they was not. That's the norm. That was a norm. So it was it was a perfect cover. Wow. Come on. Come on now. Come on. It was a perfect cover wow. to keep Joshua spies. Wow. And when they came back and told Joshua, we stayed with Rahab. That's right. Amen. Yeah. And the young men said, Rahab gave us laws. That's right. Huh? Now everybody knew That's Rahab true. was. That's right. Yeah. But they didn't question it. Mm -mm. Because it was the norm to see a man walking in like Rahab's house. Yeah. Wow. During the day, during the night, it didn't matter. Wow. So when she carried the two spies in the house with her, that's just the norm. That's Rahab. That's what she do. Wow. Come on, come on. But in the process of Rahab doing that, yeah. the dirty woman. Come on now. The prostitute. Come on now. The least one. Come on now. Live. In the process of her doing that, that's right. She lived. That's right. Huh? In the name of Jesus. Because she blessed the men of God. Yes. She lived. Even though her life didn't tell up, but at that moment it didn't matter. Come on. Come on, I'm trying to get something over to you. It didn't matter the stage of life she was at. She opened the door to the men of God. It's just something about when you open the door to the men and women of God. Huh? Her life got preserved. Her household got preserved. Even families that even up, even the father that didn't even know what was going on, he got spared. Brothers got spared. Everything that was connected to that tree got spared. Yeah. Because of one act. Because of one act. One woman. One woman. One. Giving God praise. She left her. Thank you, Jesus. Rahab went on to become somebody now. Yes, sir. It is marvelous. It's amazing to me how how God just picked you up off the floor and shake you off. Right. Clean you up. Yeah. When folks that gave you up, yeah. don't want to be bothered with you no more. Come on. Come on. You're the least of the least. Yeah. You're the trash that they kick around. Come on. Come on. God raised you right up. Amen. Right. Right. Nobody but him. Nobody when your self esteem on the floor, God said, get up. Get up. I got an assignment for you. Ooh, Lord. Ooh, nobody care about me. I do. People that treat me all kind of ways, I'm, uh, I'm not good enough. I can't fit in. Wow. But he did. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. But God. But God. But God says, get up. Get up. I love you. 
<laughs> Don't look at the fact where you are. All right now. Yes, sir. Look at where you're going. Yes, sir. Amen. Look at where you're going. Yes, Lord. See, you gotta, you gotta be able to see way further than where you are now. Amen. I see us here now, but months ago, God already showed me the ship is coming and it's gonna come real quick. Amen. Huh? Amen. So if you're used to this little room, may not to be left in here, but maybe a little bit of the anointing, but the rest of us getting out of here. So if you come to 3315, we we'll see there's only going to be some fragments of the anointing. That's all we're going to be left. Fragments. Let it in. In the name of Jesus. God said, come on up here. Yes, sir. How you hiding? Deeper depths. You can follow the instructions. That's right. Huh? The walls of Jericho, they coming down. That's right. The walls in your life, they coming down. Don't let nobody fool you. Don't let nobody ever think tell you any different. All right. The walls that are in your life, they coming down. Coming down. Yes, it is. And you ain't got to fight physically for them to come down. Amen. You fighting the spirit. Prayer. Bye. Fasting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Get in that word. That's right. Yeah. And let God do the fight. Amen. Let, let him fight the bell. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Let him fight the bell. That's it. Amen. Don't worry about it. If you don't feel like you're good enough, that's just the enemy got you thinking that you're not good enough. All right. Come on. You're better than what you realize you really are. All right. Amen. You got more potential than you than you don't than you ain't even tapped into yet. In the name of Jesus. Huh? <laughs> because of my low self-esteem. <laughs> People have put me down. Oh, said I couldn't do. God says you can do. Amen. Huh? Amen. You think Apostle Paul just penned something to be for us to read when he said I can do all things? All things. All things. All things. All Through things. Christ Jesus? Christ. Come on. Which strengthens me. Amen. <laughs> so away with what man and woman say. All right. It's what God right. said. Amen. God said I can be the head. I walk like I am the head. Right. I act like I am the head. Right. I talk like I am the head. Yes. Uh, yes. I don't believe in pity parties. Thank you, Lord. If you have a pity party, please don't invite the bishop. He ain't coming. The joy of the Lord, the joy of the Lord. is what? My strength. My strength. Is strength. That's right. Yeah, Your strength. Strength. Joy. Everybody in here is a spirit speaking being. Amen. Right. You are what you speak. You are what you speak. Hmm? If you always speak in negative, you become a negative individual. Come on, yes. come on, yes. come on. I choose to speak positive. Oh yeah, come on. To my life. Yes, no. And if you happen to come my way as being a negative in it individual, uh -huh. I'm going to reverse it in the name of Jesus. Amen. I'm going to snatch negativity out Come on. and I'm going to impart positive yes, Come on, <laughs> into your life. Amen. That's right. Amen. 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 Into your life. Into your life. That's why I'm going to push it. Yes, Lord. I'm going to push it. If you don't want me to push it, don't let me see you again. Right. That's right. Don't tell me. Don't let me see it. You better ask me to hide it. Don't let me see it. Amen. Huh? And these young people that have come to the ministry. Amen. Oh, yeah, put all y'all's work. Amen. Come on, bitch. That's right. All y'all's work. Amen. They're the right. Yes. But this, he already know. He already started. <laughs> Y'all wouldn't work. Amen. Because the next phase of the ministry is, is, is shifting. So we're shifting in a, a new dimension. Mm -hmm. That's right. To where technology That's right. is stepping in. Amen. 
I'm not tech savvy, but you are. Yes, Lord. Amen. 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 You know how to do it. You know what to do. So you do it. And in the process, you give God praise. Amen. Amen. And watch what God do for you. Yes, Lord. Everybody has some something that they can bring to the table. Yeah. Everybody. God has equipped EDCC. He's equipped them with everything we need to take this ministry to the next level. Amen. Amen. And he started, he started bringing in that's what you need. It reminds me of the scripture where he says that he would add to the house. That's right. As he see fit. That's why I tell you, I'm not a recruiter. That's God's job. That's That's the Lord's job. That ain't my job. So I ain't, I ain't finna get into that. That's that's his word. He said, I add to the church daily. Such as should be saved. He'll add to the church. He didn't say they had to come in already saved. He want them to come in broken. That's it. Toe up from the floor. Up. Yeah. So he can pick them up. Yeah. He can straighten them up. Yeah. He can yeah. clean them up. Yeah. Yeah. Well, come here, y'all, churchy, churchy, churchy. Yeah. What can he do? Woo, Lord, thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. I want the ones out there in the street. Yes, Lord. The hard ones. Yeah. The hard core. Come on. Three or four walls up before you even get to crack a smile out of it. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Put you through something. Come on. Put you through something before you even get there. Come on now. Yeah. Have you on the Lord? Are you sure you want me to witness to them or talk to them? Come on. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Say it again. That's my son right there. <laughs> That's my son right there. Yes, Perfect example. Young man. Yeah. Beautiful young man in the Lord. Ooh, Beautiful man. spirit. Yes, he is. But there's nothing I have, we have never asked him to do. Just keep giving God praise. Amen, amen, amen. 
The walls in your life. Just keep giving God thanks. Huh? Just keep giving him thanks. Just keep giving him thanks. Bring that back, Deke. Bring, bring the sword back. I got something to do. Bring the sword back. I got something in there. Come on, Bishop. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. When I call you, just come up and get one of these. Amen. Come here, Marcy. Amen. Come here, preacher woman. Amen. Amen. Come here, preacher woman. Good to see you. This is this is one of mine that I raised up. That's <laughs> this is one of mine. Right, but this is what I want you to do. Hold that. Give me deep. And I'm just doing what God has instructed me to do. See, this is right, God. Because oh, yeah, 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 I was yeah. thinking about you earlier today. My Lord, my Lord. This morning. In the name of Jesus, I believe in the prayer clause. Yes, we do. Oh, yes. I believe in the healing and the yes, delivery we do. Oh, power yes. Yes, we do. of the Almighty God. Ah. What I want you to do, you take this, give it to your mother. Tell her to keep it on her. Put it on that spot. Raise her up, Lord. Take her to a new height and a new level in you. In the name of Jesus. And we give you praise. Yes. We give you glory. And Lord, we thank you, Lord, for just being able to look upon her face this day. We give you thanks. Mm. And we give you praise. And we give you glory. Oh, oh, we give you glory. Yeah, do it. Do it. Do it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord.
Yeah.
got it. You got it. I already know that he got it today. Come on, God, don't fool me now. Don't fool me now. How many really, really know that God got it? Huh? How many know that God got you? How many really know that God has you? Yes, Lord. And we bless the Lord. Now, come on. Now, don't, don't yeah. fool me now. All right. Come on now. Do you really, really know that God got it? Amen. Every problem, every situation, every little in and out, God got it. Yes, sir. Huh? And most of all, he got you. Amen. He, he got you. Yes, yes. And whatever stage of life that you're in, right, God got you. Right, he got you. It, it, it does not matter. Long as God has you. Yeah. See, that's that's the secret right there. Yeah. To knowing that God has me. Amen. And when God got you, right. you well kept. Yes. You well yes. kept. So we, we, we bless the Lord today. Because God got us. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. And God has great things in store Amen. for us. Amen. Amen. God has a unique way of doing whatever he does. Yes, sir. Yeah, God. We just got to learn how to accept what it is. Yeah. We just have to learn how to accept yeah. what he brings our way because he has our best interest Amen. at heart. Yeah. Amen. Amen. I got it. He has our best interest at heart. And we bless the Lord today. We give him praise and glory. We give our honor for another day. Yeah, amen. Another day. That we will never see again. Thank you, Lord. And whatever we do this day, you won't ever do it again. Okay. Amen. Amen. So true. Because it's gone. Yeah. It's gone. But we bless the Lord today. I, I thank God for everybody that showed up today. Amen. 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 I just want to remind everybody that thank you God. are somebody. Amen. 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 In the eyes of God. Amen. It don't matter what folks say. Thank you God. are somebody. Amen. And when you can realize that you are somebody, you can hold your head up. Yes. Stick Amen. your chest out. Amen. Amen. Put one foot before the other. Yes, sir. And keep right on going. Amen. Amen. Why? Right, because God got you. Yes. And we bless the Lord today. Amen. We just give him praise. And since y'all was giving him praise, y'all kind of tied into my message a little bit. Amen. All right, all right. You, know, you, you kind of kind of walked on my message just a little bit. Come on, bitch. Just a little bit. See, you, you started something. That just lets you know God. Is an order to go. Amen. He gave us just what we needed. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. And I bless Amen. the Lord today. We thank God for our first lady. Amen. 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 Good to see you. Amen. That's a blessing. The old folks used to say, give me a little bit of more body. This is what the old folks used to say, you're a sight for so wise. I'm not even talking about that. You're a sight for so wise. Yeah, Amen. Amen. So we, we bless the Lord today. It's good to see everybody. Amen. 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 I'm just excited about what, if you could only get that much of a glimpse of what God is doing uh -huh. with his people. See, it takes everybody to make the puzzle work. Amen. Amen. All right. And God is answering prayers that I prayed a long time ago Amen. concerning this ministry. Amen. Amen. And he ain't finished with it yet. Okay. Amen. Amen. He ain't finished with it yet. I'm still waiting on my Hispanic brothers and sisters to walk in. Amen. I'm still Amen. waiting on my Vietnamese sisters and brothers to walk in. Amen. Because if we all serve the same God. Amen. Come Amen. on now. Come on. Amen. And God's going to do it. Yes, he is. I, I got that crazy faith. Yes, sir. I, I got that. That's kind of faith I got. You know, yes, God said he's going to do it. I'm, I'm, I'm with it 100%. That's right. Because yes, I know he's going to do it. Amen. 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 We bless the Lord today. Those that have my death, the Bible's with me. 
turn to the book of Joshua. We're going to the Old Testament. Hallelujah. Joshua. Joshua. The sixth chapter. Joshua. The sixth chapter. The sixth chapter. Joshua, chapter 6. We're going we're gonna to skip around a little bit. I'm going to the elder to, to read. We're going to start at verse 13. Verse 13. We're going to jump from 13 on down to chapter 6. In that verse, we're going to start at that verse. So, the 13th verse is going to come out of Joshua chapter 5. I just want him to read verse 13. Then we're going to Joshua chapter 6. And we're going to begin reading there. Amen. Let the people of God say amen again. Amen. Amen. Those that have it, we ask that you stand for the reading of the word of God. After, after the 13th verse has been read, then you may take your seat. Amen. Amen. Are we ready? Joshua chapter 5, beginning at verse 13. Mm -hmm. Then we're going down to Joshua chapter 6, beginning at verse 1 there. Joshua chapter 5, verse 13. Read it. And it came to pass. And it came to pass. When Joshua was by Jericho, mm -hmm. that he lifted up his eyes and looked. And behold, there stood a man over against him with his sword drawn in his hand. And Joshua went unto him and said unto him, Art thou for us or for our adversaries? Are you for us or against us? All right now. Joshua wanted to know. He saw him, didn't know who he was, but he saw a man. And he wanted to know, was this man for us or are you against yes. us? Yes. Amen. He, he wanted to know. So and later on in the scriptures, you're going to see where this was an angel that God sent to Joshua, to give Joshua some instructions. Mm -hmm. Take me down to chapter 6. You may take your seat. Mm -hmm. Now Jericho was straightly shut up. Straightly shut up. Because of the children of Israel. Mm -hmm. None went out and none came in. Nobody went in nobody went and nobody, nobody came out. Huh? Amen. Huh? Hallelujah. We want to prethink the, the thought just give you a little something on your mind here today. Thank you, Lord. Praise him until something happens. All right. All right. You got to learn how to praise God Hallelujah. until something, something happens. happens. Oh, man. Amen. You can't just praise him on Sunday morning and then you forget about Monday. You got to praise him until something happens. Jericho was a place that was like what we would call a fortress. Only people could, certain people could get in and certain people could get out. That was a time where God shut it up. Yeah, yeah. You could get in Jericho and you could not get out of Jericho. So the people that was there, guess what? They was what like trapped. Yes. Mm. They was like trapped in there. Huh? Uh -huh. And the Lord said unto him, Joshua, see I have given unto thee thine hand, Jericho and the king thereof and the mighty men of valor. Yes. All right. Huh? But look what he says in verse 3. Read verse 3. This is what I'm going to. And ye shall compass the city. Mm -hmm. All ye men of war. You com shall compass the city. All ye what? Men of war. Mm -hmm. And go around about the city once. Once. Thus shalt thou do six days. <laughs> Thus shalt thou do what? Six, six days. days. Six days. Hallelujah. Pacific instructions. Mm -hmm. And all that they had to do was just give God praise. All right. He called for seven priests. He said, bring me seven trumpets. Yeah. And I want these priests to blow their trumpets and, 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 and just blow the sound. And even though you had men of war that had swords and they were ready to fight, but see, sometimes God won't fight, let you fight the battle physically. Right. Right it, he, he, he'll do a spiritual right. fight on you. Right. A lot of times we're trying to fight battles that we really ain't supposed to be fighting. Right. We fight giants in our life that God never told us to fight. Come but on, yet God. still in our, little, in, in our little mind, we feel like we got to do it. Yes, but 
Right here. I just want to look at this. Just show you right here. God. People. Didn't have to fight this battle. Oh, That's right. right. Huh? We don't have to fight the battle today. That's right. You choose to fight a battle that God didn't tell you to fight. All right. Come on now. Now if if Joshua had, had a went on like he like his original plan was right. with his soldiers, they was going in there fighting. Right. Lives was gonna be lost right. on both sides. But look how God said, "Look, yes, God. God said, ain't no lives gonna be lost. So y'all you, you gonna win the battle, but not the way you think you are gonna win the battle. Yes. A lot of times, and, and and when we give God praise." And when people say praises go up, blessings come down. Your praise is a continuous thing. Yes. Yeah. You continue to thank God. Yeah. David opened the door in 150 the Psalms. He said, let everything that has breath yeah. praise you the Lord. Yeah. So that don't mean you got to be saved. That don't mean you got to be Holy Ghost filled. That don't mean you got to be in the church. Just give God praise. Yes, God. Thank, thank the Lord. They, they sung the song and said, Give him thanks. That's right. Thank you, Lord. I, I thank God for waking me up this yes, morning. God. I thank God for starting me off on a new day. I thank God for being able to go to my table and sit down and break bread this morning. I thank God. You got to give God thanks in whatever stage of life it is. Yeah, yeah. Whatever, God. But that was that was something unique about when God says six times. Mm -hmm. Huh? Go around it six times. <laughs> just, just march around Jericho six, six times. times. Yeah. You on, and the priest and all these soldiers, but ain't nobody going to pull out no sword. All right, all right. Ain't nobody going to cut nobody. Ain't nobody going to stab nobody. Right. Just walk around the walls of Jericho. Yeah. Jericho was a place that it was not easy to get in. Come on. It was not easy to get out of. Right. Right. Jericho was a place that you could put probably four cars on and run, and run all around it. Side by side. Right. The walls was just that wide. Mm -hmm. yeah. It was a fortress. You couldn't get in there. Right. Huh? But God had a plan yeah. for his people. God got a plan for your life today. That's right. That's right. Even the walls that are in your life, if you give God praise, you'll watch them walls come down. You, you'll see some walls in your life come down. When you begin to give God praise, when you begin to give God thanks, whatever you need in your life, just start praying for it. Just start thinking like, well, I, I, I need some loved ones to be saved. Start giving God praise. Yeah. Right. Start thanking God in advance. That's right. And then don't leave yourself out. Lord, I need to be healed. Lord, I need to be delivered. Right. Start giving God praise. Start calling it out. Yes, so he tells him, he says in the verse 3, he says, you shall come past the city. Mm -hmm. All ye men of war yeah. and go around the city once. Thus shall I do six days. Now these are trained soldiers ready to fight. All right now. But guess what? They ain't fighting like they think they're gonna fight. All right now. They ain't fighting like they've been trained to fight. No. See, when God fights the battle, why do you think he said when he told Moses, he said, tell the people to stand still? All right he said, stand still. He said, I want to step up and do something. Yeah. I want to show you that I'm God. I want to show you that I'm Jehovah Jireh. Yeah. I want to go show you that I'm Jehovah Nisi. I want to show you that I'm Jehovah Raphael. Yes, yes. He said, just tell him, stand still. Stand still. Don't worry. Yes. Stand still. God. So you can see the salvation. God got you and I yes. today. All we got to do is just stand still yes. and wait on God. Yes. We trust him. We walk by faith and yes, not by sight. Yes. Stop trying to see something before you believe it. All right, now. If you believe it, it'll manifest itself. Yes. It'll come to you. Yes. Don't have the mindset to, if I don't see it, I don't believe it. Yes. All right. That's a doubt mind. In God's word, a lot of things was done that they didn't get written. Yes. But enough of it was written for our sakes that we could get from earth to heaven. All right now. If we follow the instructions. Yes. Amen. Huh? That was a lot of things that Jesus did that didn't all everything he did didn't get broke down. The book couldn't contain everything he did. But that was specific instruction. Seven priests with seven trumpets. You see how God numbered it out? Seven. The number of seven is very significant today. Yes. Huh? The number seven means completion. 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 Huh? Yes, so if you on round five, you got two more rounds to go before you get completed. All right. yes, Come on, y'all missed that one. Yes, 
If, ahead, if I'm in the fifth stage, that's right. I got two more stages right. to go yeah. before my completeness comes. I got two more stages to go before I really get to where God says I'm going to get. That's right. I got two more stages to go before I get the house that God says I can have. Oh, I got two more stages to go before I get the job that God says I can have. Amen. I got two more stages to go before I can get to the financial part of my life that God says I can be the head and not the tail, above and not beneath. The lender and not the bar. I got some more stages I got to go through. Before I can get to that point. So he gave them, he gave them everything that they needed. Seven priests. Huh? It's amazing how God, it's amazing how God pick out certain people to do certain things. Yes, sir. See, if God is smart enough and wise enough to pick out certain people to do certain things because he knows their talent. And whatever your talent is, that's all you do. In other words, you just stay right in your lane. Whatever God gives that you even gave you to do, yeah. you stay in that lane and you operate in that lane. You master that tape. Mm -hmm. right. you, you master that talent. That's right. you, and, and with those seven priests, we don't know what song, how what, how the lyrics or nothing, but we know they was giving God praise. Amen. Huh? Yeah. They, they, they had those horns and they were blowing. And he says in verse 5, he said, and it shall come to pass that when they make a Long blast Long. with the ram's horn. That's it. And when they, you hear the sound of the trumpet, all the people shall shout with a great shout, and the wall of the city my, my shall God. fall down flat. My God. Flat. Hmm. And the people shall ascend upon every man straight right. before him. Wow. So if you need some walls to come down on your life today, won't you just start giving God praise? Amen. You start giving God thanks. You want some deliverance in your life. You start giving God praise. You start giving God thanks. Not just the day because you're here. You think when you get home this evening. You think it before you go to bed. You, when he wakes you up in the morning, you give God praise. You say, Lord, I thank you. When he allows you to roll out of your bed and put your feet on the floor, your hands are going and say, Lord, I thank you. Because he didn't have to wake you up. All right now. It, it, it's amazing how, 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 how they fought. But they didn't fight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right now. They just marched. Just huh? marched. <laughs> just marched. Yeah. Come on now. That's all. They, they didn't have to do no physical fight. Yes. You just marched. So whatever the instructions is, we just got to learn how to follow what the instructions is. Yeah. Now don't you know some of these soldiers may probably wanted to question Joshua? Well, Joshua, we come to fight. Mm -hmm. Now you tell them just walk around the walls yeah. of the city. We come here to fight, Joshua. I didn't come here to walk. I come here to kill somebody. Mm. All right now. Right. Joshua, that, that, that's not the instruction. Uh -huh. Six days. Yes. Can you, can you imagine you walking around the city six days? You ready to fight. You can't pull out no sword. All right now. Huh? You just got to walk around that city. You, you looking at the soldiers on the other side, on top of the wall. Yes. They looking at you. Right. Ain't nobody pulling no sword. You just walk. Huh? But see, while they was in the midst of walking, God was working. That's right. That's right. See, God works when you don't see him working. That's why it's so hard for some people to, to believe it, because God works behind the scene. He ain't in the front saying, look, I'm doing this right here for you now, D. I got this right here for you, D. That's not the way God operates. When you send up the prayer, sincere prayer, God begins to operate then. God begins to work on the person's heart right then. God begins to work on the person's mind right then. God begins to bring deliverance right then. And it's a process. That's right. It's a process. It don't happen overnight. It, your, your seven days ain't gonna come overnight. Your seven days may take six months. Amen. Your seven days may take a year. Yes, However long, yes, sir. It comes. it's working. Yes. It comes. It's working for your good. <laughs> it's working for your good. Yes, the people, the problem with people I see sometimes is that they want an instant. They want it right. They want that microwave of a miracle. Oh, right. They want that microwave of healing. Yeah. They want that microwave of deliverance. Right. That want, they want that microwave of finance. Mm. But let me ex let me explain something to you about the God we serve. Yes, yes. He's not gonna give you no more than you can handle. That's right. If your little mind cannot handle it, he ain't gonna give it to you. Uh -huh. If you're struggling now with finances, and I'm not saying you have them, I'm talking about struggling to what to do with it when you get it. That's right. Yeah. Come on. 
How is he going to drop any more in your hand? All right, when you ain't figured out what to do with a little bit. Amen. He said, be a good steward. That's right. Oh. So, we have to learn how to be good stewards. Yes, sir. So, our seven days may take a little longer than what we think. Amen. But if you just keep giving them praise, if you keep walking around the wall, Yes. The walls in your life. Yes. The walls on your job. Yes. The walls wherever you are. Amen. If you just keep walking around the walls yeah. and giving God praise, you'll see God working. Amen. Huh? Yes. Don't worry about how he's going to work. Just know he is yeah, working. That's right. Don't worry about if you see it working. Just know it is working. Yes. It, it's working. Your walls is coming down. Amen. Jericho walls came down simply because Number one, they followed the instructions. Follow the instructions. They was obedient. All right, now. They just did what God said to do. See, God will help you do so. Mm. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, Lord. Mm. In the name of Jesus. Do it today, God. Mm. Oh, I heard him say, tell both of them to walk around seven times. Mm. In the name of Jesus. We thank you right now. God said He got it. Mm. God. God got it. Hallelujah. God got it. Hallelujah. Mm. God said He got it. It's His. We thank you this day. And we give you praise. We give you glory. And we give you honor. In the name of Jesus. And we call it done. We speak that your will. Your will be done. In their lives. In the name of Jesus. Mm. Ah, we thank you, Lord. Mm. No respect for person. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. That can heal, yes, do that it. can deliver, and can set free. And we thank you for that this day. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen, amen, amen. 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 Now, I can put one foot before the other. 
I don't have to worry about staggering. Because I know who I am now. Mm. And I know where I want to go. Mm. It's amazing when our eyes come open. God pulls the scales down so we can see. And God brings the walls down so we get free. We're not captive anymore. You're not enslaved in your own mind anymore. You hear me, daughter? You know. You've been there, done that. Now it's time to go do something different. It's time to do a new walk. Thank you, Lord. New phase. And God is doing a new thing. See, a lot of people missed it when he said a new thing in the Bible. The new thing was he's doing it a different way. Same word. He just said change the method so we can get these souls. Amen, amen. Because this will, he said, he wished that none should perish, but that all should come to repentance. It ain't his wish to none perish. Because I gave everybody a talent. Some of them I gave two. Some of them I gave three. Yeah. Some of them I gave four. He said, now I want to see the results. Right now. I want to see the results from the yeah. talents I gave him. Yeah. You wait for the Lord. Oh, the reward is so great. Yeah. So great. Yeah. Yeah. So, you get that young lady yeah. sitting over there in the corner. Okay? Let her know. You tell her. You tell her. It'll be, it'll be put in action. Hallelujah, yeah. Jesus. Because everybody that comes to DDCC, the thing that God gave me is everybody is somebody. Amen. Put them to work. Amen. See, when you come into a ministry and you just sit, sit, sit. And it's good to sit, 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 you, you can get the word and be fed. Mm -hmm. But sometimes you need to get up. Amen. Okay, and do something. Mm -hmm. And you ain't doing it for the pastor. You ain't doing it for the elect lady. No, no, no. You doing it unto God. That's right. Amen. Because that's the one that has your reward. Yes. That's the one that has your blessing. Yes. That's the one that opens yes. doors. Yes. That's the one that makes a way when it seems like to be no way. That's the one that put you in the house and folks be questioning how you got there. Come on, come on, amen. Come on, amen. Come on, amen. They, they be wondering, how, how did you get there? How did that come about? Nobody but God. That's why you just keep lifting them up. You keep giving them praise. God said, that's just for them. Amen. I stand on the word. Amen. And we ought to be the head. Not the table. Yes, Lord. We ought to be above and not beneath. Come on, thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. What you got, what God got, what God has put up there, you really should have four of these already in operation. My Lord. Hallelujah. You got to be working for nobody. You're supposed to be signing checks. Lord. If, I'm, if you don't think I'm right, just tell me. I don't like you to. Huh? Huh? I know what God showed me. My Lord. And when God showed me something and I speak, you can take it to the bank. That's right. Amen. Amen. That's right. Amen. Amen. God will manifest. There's so much talent that God has brought this way. My Lord. Huh? Yes, Lord. So much talent. Yes, Lord. Come on. Entrepreneur right there. Thank you, Lord. That's one. Y'all looking at Brother Desmond right there. Amen. He's awesome. Raise your hand. You're awesome. Yeah, no. That's right. He's Amen. He's awesome. He works for himself. Amen. Got his own business. Thank you, Lord. Seven Lord. Lord. Come on. Come on. Lord. And there's many more in here that God is getting ready to do the same thing. Right. Amen. Amen. Huh? <laughs> same thing for him. Amen. That's why I can't continue to work. This is the word. That's right. Amen. Come on. Come That's on. Right. Yeah. Peace. Huh? I 
accompanied with his words. And his word says, if you go into the vineyard yard and work, that's right. He said, whatever is right, right, he will pay. He'll pay you. That's right. Thank you, Lord. Ain't never failed me yet. That's right. Never, never will. He saved me when I was at the age of thirty-four. I'm sixty-five, and he still got me standing in the walk and talking. He is. So, line it up. We have to give. We have to tell. That young lady over there. We make it happen. If you want to do it in the ministry, you can do that. It's just, it's, it's room in here. Yeah. And you got to give to be a blessing to this ministry. Kingdom builders. We're building up for ourselves. We're kingdom builders. Every time we set up temple, but we need some, we call that temple up. That's a prayer. God receives it and He sends it right back down. Our answer comes. We're kingdom builders. We're building this thing for Christ. And God is just answering prayers. Let God continue to be God in your life. Don't you feel better? Oh, yeah. huh? You look so much better. You got a glow to you. Thank you For the first couple of times I saw you, you're you beginning to blossom now. Thank you, Lord. You're beginning to see who you are and where you're supposed to be at. And what you're actually supposed to be doing. See, it's good when you can identify with yourself. A lot of people not identify with other people, but can you really identify with yourself? Amen. And watch what God do. I'm just waiting on it. I'm just waiting. It's like huge, huge. So first lady, you got your work cut out. Amen. Like lady, you got your work cut out. Amen. You got your work cut out, and you wonder why. You wonder why. God told you no. Mm. Ah, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. You wonder why. Thank you, Lord. He told you no. All right now. Amen. And your confirmation came through all the way from Dallas. My Lord. Where is it like? Thank 
thank God for you, business woman. That's all I see. I just, I just see business all over you, and I, it's just like a world. It's like a whirlwind of, of money, just like this. Just, just boom, just, just like that. Just boom. It's up to you now. Take hold of the instructions. It's yours. You should have been, let me say, I'm going to let you go. You should have been a millionaire a long time ago.